and you ah that's funny they're asking, <laughs> yes they're asking questions you know what the doctor nothing better than a good pun well done you you know i i had a thought about something um somebody tweeted me a long time ago and i don't know if this is even the best place to talk about it but that kind of brought up the, the questions um you know how everybody has like their their fan ship like name like uh -huh. you know Cressers is what's kind of become mine. I feel like Urs is just what you put after a name that can't be morphed into another word. So I was trying to think of like other things that we could use, and somebody tweeted me, "What about um, croissants? Like cress and a n t s at the end? Because like a croissants are delicious. B if you spell it like that, it it looks like crescents." Or croissants. Either way, I feel like that's kind of funny. I don't know if it's like lame or not. So I want to know what people think about that because at this point it's probably too late to change it. It's been a few years now, but it's okay. But what do you guys think about croissants? I think it's kind of funny. I like that. What do you think? I you think, think it's it stupid. I was no. I'm gonna be honest. I was looking at Twitter. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Fair enough. It's okay. I like croissants better. We yeah. Oh, what else, yeah. Scott? All right, croissants. Oh, that's weird. Would you like to record yes. a movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger? No. Yes, obviously. <laughs> well, Natty says no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, let's see. I met you at the Huntington Mall in West Virginia. Oh, hello. That's Good fun. to see you again. That was a great time. Oh, I'm I'm getting a call from a eight seven seven number that I'm not going to pick up. Um, but pea coops would gladly be called a croissant. So some people like it. And pea coops is not good for braces, isn't it? Yeah, pea coops is yeah. pea coops is good. But then Scott said that he likes pressers better. So, but I think that's just because he's been around for so long, he's used to it. I like pressers. Whatever. Sorry, I'm I mean, gonna, you can do an Emmy one. No, I won't. I won't pick the name. I'll let I'll let the fans decide. I'm a fan. I decide pressers. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. All right, it's been chosen. It's official. Just your card. Yeah, he likes GTA 5 or Call of Duty. I'd, I'd take Call of Duty. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Who's your favorite band? Mm. You like some cool bands, right? You know, you know, you know, you I do. Of, you know, I do enjoy cool bands. Who's that band you were talking about the other day? You mm. like the guy. Oh, yeah. Um, One of my favorites that not a whole crap ton of people know about is the Classic Crime. Um, oh, yeah, they, man. Yeah. All about that Classic Crime. They're based out of Seattle. Uh, and they have a few records out right now that are just absolutely phenomenal. They're incredibly talented. So you should look them up, get their music, because it's so good. I could listen to them every day, and I do it frequently. Mm -hmm. uh, ooh, oh, that's a great question. The Walking if, Dead one? Yeah, if you could be left with one Walking Dead character to survive the apocalypse, who would it be? I, I think we all have the same answer. Shy. Hmm. Michelle, really? Yeah. Okay, well, no, I two answers. Say, I don't know if we do have the same answer. Yeah, if, so. there's two answers. Who do you say? I would say Daryl. Because he's, not only is he, like, awesome in the combat way, he's a survivalist. Like, he grew up in the woods. I even love those people, man. Yeah. But Michonne is another really great choice. Yeah, I... I didn't think about that. Michonne's a superhero. What yeah. Like Michonne, I mean, I don't know how far you got wrong, but, like... No, she's I'm, awesome. all, I'm, I'm all in. Yeah, Michonne. Michonne is great. I know. But she has a sword rather than a crossbow, so there's trade-offs because she doesn't have a ranged weapon, but she won't run out of ammo. Yeah, but I'm saying, if, if it mainly, the main, look, I understand we've got to deal with some rogue humans, but really I'm trying to, I'm dealing with zombies, hordes of zombies. Right. I'm having Michonne every time. Right, but you don't want to have to jump into the horde of zombies just to kill her. No, I'll send Michonne in and I'll, I'll, I'll make breakfast or something. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know. Hello. You're very beautiful, according to Born to Jeanette. Oh, like that person. Nice. Do you have a That's the one that was hating on me, though. Not hating. I'm just joking. <laughs> no, come on. She's we're we're on side with her. She's alright. Uh, Iron Man or Batman? That's a good question. Honest, Batman. I don't know. I kind of like Iron Man better. Well, I think what was the other option? That, um, I, Iron Man or Batman? There's only two. I like Iron Man. I do too. Yeah. I'm a Batman man. I always have been. Yeah. I like, well, I like, I, if you were to extend it to Bruce Wayne or Tony Stark, I would say Bruce Wayne. Very rich. Big house. Both of them are very rich. Well, they're both pretty houses. rich and big houses. Yeah. yeah. One of them's a bit sharper. Yeah. 
Uh, okay, fair enough. Yeah. Um, but what is it like being the only Morris man who is actually American? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, it was very interesting. Um, I started. I felt like I had to be really careful not to actually absorb some accents from time to time. Although you guys, when we were on set, it wasn't all the time, but you were pretty good about maintaining an American accent, like when we were really in between well, takes and stuff. Richard, see, Richard kept his accent on the whole time. Yeah, Richard. Richard was pretty consistent with. I didn't because I'm not pro, but he did. Yeah. Um, I, there was a question back here I liked. Tiki though, said you're so pretty. No, you can scroll up. Yeah, how I scroll yeah, up. On the little, there was a good bar. I thought was that. Where? Uh, Dad, do you do you still get starstruck? That's a good question. Oh, um, yeah. yeah, actually, I totally do. Um, well, I guess starstruck is I don't know. If starstruck is a good word for it, but um, I still get nervous when like I see people that I I love and really respect as as performers at you know events or award shows or whatever. So I I generally chicken out. When it comes to going up, you want to, you want to give an example? I don't have one. <laughs> yes, you do. I don't, I don't what know. is that? What is that I, laugh if not no, having an example? I I just remember some I, events where we sit in corners and we die laughing. Can I can I name one specifically? Which one are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> we, the the launch event for the Xbox One yeah. back in November. We the whole time. <laughs> We were driving down there, and, and Maddie was like, "Oh man, I hope Kevin Jonas is there. I hope Kevin oh, Jonas no. is there." The whole time, the and whole down there. she was just looking for Kevin Jonas the whole night. And she finally, he showed up with Joe in in like the area that we were in, and we we kept trying to like come up with natural ways to not be like, "Hi, we're coming up to you to talk to you right now," but for there to actually be like a conversation to happen. And seriously, about happened. an hour and a half yeah. of us. They walked by us probably eight or nine times, but we never did it. It was one of those things where, and then he went to go, you went to go do something, and then they walked up and they stood right next to me, and I was like calling him. You got to it. Do it. I was playing a demo of Battlefield 4, and I didn't look at my phone. I felt it vibrating. I was like, oh man, Meg's probably calling me. I should get over there. And then. Oh, but I'd rather play a video game. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. It was like five minutes. Um, but yeah. No, and then, yeah. and then I just I didn't do it. Yeah. I think they caught on that I was kind of a creepy star. Yeah, it got to the point where we ran into them so many times that it was, oh, see, it was I obvious. I think Joe was a watcher. I think Joe was watching yeah. for people. Joe and saw us coming from a mile yeah, away. he did. It would, have been, it would have been bad. <laughs> Superpower. Too bad. I should have had my Jones Rose backpack with me. You should have. Then they probably would have just come up to you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Next time. Dad. What? Evan. No. <laughs> I'll answer that. What? Uh, that question. Oh, okay. And she said, are you well, jealous that Jeanette met Kevin Jonas? I was talking to her the whole time, and she was... I remember that! She was That's going so to funny. have Danielle call me if Danielle was there, and she wasn't. She wasn't there. Oh. So, I am jealous yeah. of that fact, actually. Yeah. That's like, yeah. Yeah. Well, look, at least she tried. She tried. She tried, her. yeah. Mm -hmm. She was very nice about it. Uh, would you like to do a movie with Tom Hanks? Yes, absolutely. I think it'd be extremely fun. He is one of my favorites. 